Hi boys and girls! Today I have another nonfiction book for you. The title is Triceratops. And just a reminder, nonfiction means that it's not fake, not fantasy. These are all real facts. So before we get started, like we always do, let's talk about the parts of the book. We have the title, the front cover, the spine, and the back cover. And I bet you guys are all experts on that now from all the videos that you've probably watched. Let's open it up. We see this page, it has the title, it has the author's name, Daniel Nunn, and it has the company that published the book. This is the title page. Over here we have the table of contents. So if you're looking for something in particular, you can come to the table of contents and it'll tell you exactly what page you can find it on. The dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were reptiles. Dinosaurs lived long ago. Triceratops was a dinosaur. Triceratops lived long ago. Today, there are no Triceratops. Triceratops. Some dinosaurs were small. Protoceratops. So there they're labeling the Proceratops. Protoceratops, which is a smaller one, but Triceratops was big. Triceratops had thick legs. Triceratops live together. You can see that if you use your picture power. Triceratops walked slowly most of the time but Triceratops could run fast, too. Triceratops had three horns. And then if you look closely in the picture, they labeled horn. And just a little hint, if you look at the word Triceratops, you'll see tri in there. And when you see T-R-I, tri, that means three. So we can remember that the Triceratops has one, two, three horns. Triceratops used its horn to fight other dinosaurs. Oh, look at that. But Triceratops did not eat other dinosaurs. Triceratops ate bushes and plants, just like the Brachiosaurus, right? The Brachiosaurus ate plants too. How do we know? Scientists have found fossils of Triceratops. Fossils are parts of animals that lived long ago. Fossils are in rocks. And here they labeled the word fossil. And remember, that was one of those fancy words that, can, that we remember that we can share so we can sound like an expert on the book. Fossils tell us what Triceratops was like. So they put all the bones together, and that's how we know exactly what the Triceratops look like. We have a fossil quiz for you. So here's your question. One of these fossils was Triceratops. Can you tell which one? Turn to page 24 to find out the answer. So take a look. Use your picture clues to help you Remember, we talked about what try means? Three, right? Do you know which one it is? It is B. There's the Triceratops with his one, two, three horns. And I always tell my students, if you forget something from the book or the story, you can always look back in the book and reread or look at the pictures again. And just like we do with fiction books, you can also play pretend with nonfiction books too. So I might pretend that I'm a Triceratops and I have three horns, or I might pretend to walk slowly like, tri like the Triceratops does. So I hope that you think of fun things to do with this nonfiction book. Have a great day, everybody.